help if I have the mic on. All right, let's do some homework. Uh, this is courtesy of Holly and Lizette, who helped me out because I forgot my copy. Uh, we're doing some surface area and volume, so let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, one of our questions, I think this is number two on the back. Uh, we're looking for, I think it said total surface area of our little Toblerone here. So we see, is this a prism or a pyramid? Well, it's got two bases and a bunch of rectangles, so that indicates a prism. And it's got triangular bases, which would tell us this is a triangular prism. Okay, here's our two bases. So we say surface area of this, if we're looking for total, is perimeter of the base times height plus two times area of base. Okay. Uh, so we need perimeter, and it only gives us one side, so I'm going to assume this is a equilateral triangle. And that seems reasonable enough here, so we can say that our perimeter is just 6 plus 6 plus 6, so just 18. And then we need the area of the base, and we say area of the base is 1 half uh, base times height. Where the base and the height are these two sides that meet at a right angle, which means it's going to be 1 half of 6 times 5.2. So we do some multiplying here. Half of 6 is 3. And we have 3 times 5.2, which is 15.6. Right, last thing we need is the height of the prism. Remember, height of the prism is distance from one base to the other. So that's this green length here, which is just 20. Okay. So then we fill in our numbers here. And change the color of this so we can color code nicely. Okay. So we say we said that our perimeter was 18, the height of our prism was 20, and then 2 is just 2, and then area of the base we said is 15.6. And again we're back to just multiplying. So 18 times 20, that's 360. 15.6 times 2, 30 plus 1.2 is 31.2. After we do all of our multiplying, we save our adding for last because of order of operations. So 360 plus 31 is 391, and then 0.2 gets tossed on at the end. So 391.2, and that's centimeters, and this is area, so that's squared so 391.2 square centimeters okay uh, let's say just in case this wasn't total surface area and we just wanted lateral okay hypothetically well, lateral area is just everything except the two bases so if we just knocked off oh god I'm gonna use purple if we knock off the 2b and we just have ph so all this goes away so our lateral surface area would just be 360 centimeters square. And that's not an answer choice, but 391.2 is, so I'm going to pick that one. Okay, that was fun. Okay. Next one. Uh, I don't know what these numbers are. Um, thanks, Holly and Lizette. Let's say this is 16, and this is 4, and this is 8. Which should the following is closest to the volume of the juice in the glass? Okay, so this 16 doesn't really matter because we're talking about volume. We have a cylinder here, but it gives us two heights. It gives us the height of the glass and the height of the juice. And then we realize we don't actually care about the glass. We only care about the juice, which is now uh, cherry Kool-Aid. Okay. Uh, okay. Getting text messages asking me where this video is. It's on its way, text message person. Alright, uh, which volume is closest to the volume? So volume of any sort of prism or cylinder is area of the base times the height. 
So we need to know what is big B. And in this case, it's a circle, so area of a circle is pi r squared. Okay. And then 8 is the distance all the way across, which means radius will be half of that, so half of 8 is 4. This is 4 squared, and pi is just a, it's this happy number, 3.14. So we can say 4 squared. 4 times 4 is 16 times 3.14 which probably have to work out, so 3, 14, 16, this is 4, 2, 8, 18, I think that's right, okay. 6, 8, yeah, that's good, 0, and then 3, 1, 4, this gives us, no, 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 I can't do that, because this is going to carry, so this is 4, 2, bring over the 1, so 0, 1, 5. So 50.24, uh, because we have two decimal places up top, none in the bottom, so we need 2 in our answer. So this is 50.24, and that is the area of our base. Okay, so we bring that up here. 50.24. Multiply that by the height, and again, the height is this is number that we care about here. I don't care about the glass, so this height is just going to be 4 as well. So then it's just 50.24 times 4. Well, I know 50 times 4 is 200. And 24 is the number of hours in a day, and there's 48 hours in 2 days, so it would be 96 hours in 4 days. So 24 times 4 has to be 96. So our answer is 200.96, and this would be centimeters cubed, because it's volume, that's H. But notice, notice, if I go back here and don't write all of this, one of our answers is 803, which would be if you took the volume of the whole thing. But we wouldn't do that, because it says very clearly what is the volume of the juice. So 16 is just there to mess with you. Alright. At that. Okay, Cali, right? Cali, Tupac fan here. Decorator room with paper models of Triforces. Geometric solid <laughs> Triforce. Okay. Patterns build the uh, congruent equilateral triangles shown below. Okay, so if they're all congruent equilateral triangles it means that this triangle is the same as this triangle the same as this one is the same as this one so what we could do to make this easier on ourselves there's actually two things we could do with this we could find the area of this triangle and then multiply it by four since there's four of them or we could be dynamic if this is 3.5 and that's the height of the triangle that means the height of this triangle is also 3.5 which means the total height is 7. Alright, with me so far? So now this is 4, right here. That's the same as this length here, which is also 4. So this whole side length would be 8. I don't really care. But it's equilateral, which means this length down here, also 8. And we also get this added benefit of this being a right angle. So now we have 1 big triangle with a height of 7 and a base of 8. And we just have to find the area of that uh, triangle. So say it's 1 half base times height or 1 half of 7 times 8. Uh, 7 times 8 is 56. Just for fun we'll do it this way. Half of 56 is 28. And guess what? We're done. Hooray! Okay. Uh, if you wanted to do it the other way, you could have found the area of this one and said still one half base times height. This would be four here, so this would be one half of 3.5 times four. 3.5 times four, that's uh, 14. Half of 14 is 7, which means each of these triangles has an area of 7 centimeters squared. But there are 1, 2, 3, 4 of them. So you'd have to do 7 times 4 is 28 centimeters squared. 
Okay. Even better. I don't know better. It's different. If we went with this is actually a, a pyramid. We could say this is the area of our base. Or that is the base. Excuse me. And we said the area of that is seven. Seven meters. We we just did that one. We know the perimeter is four by four by four, so that's twelve. Okay. And the lateral height, since every pyramid has a lateral height, would be 3.5. So then we have a formula that looks like S equals 1 half PL plus B. This is 1 half of 6 times. Whoa, 6. I'm getting ahead of myself. Come back. Go ahead. Ugh, too far. 1 half 12 times 3.5. Plus 7. And if I did this correctly, it should come out nice. So half of 12 is 6 times 3.5. 3.5 times 6, so this is 6 times 3 is 18. And then half of 6 is 21. Plus 7, which we should be keeping this whole time. 21 plus 7 is, oh, guess what? It's still 28 square centimeters. So there you go. There's three different ways to get that answer. It's always G. Don't put J. If you put J, it means you forgot to take one half at some point. Don't do that. Okay? You get in trouble. All right, last one. Snack can, which is a fancy way of saying Pringles. So salty. This is probably trademarked, but whatever. Come and sue me. Pringles guy. I don't know what the Pringles guy looks like. I know he's got a he's got a mustache. I think he has glasses too. Yeah. Uh, these are loaded baked potato flavor. You know it's pretty good Pringles? Pizza flavored. Surprisingly good. Okay, whatever we're we doing here. Total surface area. Alright, we can do total surface area of a cylinder here. This is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. And I look at my answers, and they're all in whole numbers, so let's let's be lazy and hope this works, and let's say pi is 3. All right? Our radius is half of the diameter. Anytime it draws a line going all the way across the circle, that's the diameter, which means we need half of that, which means our radius is 3. That's helpful. And our height, distance from one base to the other, is 22. Okay, so we take all of our numbers and put them into our equation. So let's say pi is uh, red and radius is blue and height is... No, <laughs> radius is green. Whoa, I don't know my colors. Okay, so height, I'll start with that one. It's 22. Uh, pi, i got a couple of pi's here. So it's 3, also 3. And radius, which is not blue, which is green, is 3 times 3 squared. Right, and then these 2's are just 2's plus 2's. Okay, this is just, I mean, this is information given to us, put into a formula, which is given to us on our chart. All right, let's do some basic math here. So we got to start with 3 squared uh, exponents, so no big deal. It's 9. Well, let's knock out the rest of this side while we're here. So 2 times 3 times 9. This is 6 times 9. It's 54. All right, if we go to the other side, uh, hmm, let's do 2 times 3. That's 6. Hmm, hmm, what do we want to do here? Let's do 6 times 3. 18 times 22, uh, we'll work that out, 22, 18, this is 6, carry the 1, 16, carry the 1, 17, 0, 2, 2, it's 3, 96, you get 396 plus 54, and this is going to work out to exactly 400 and 50. Alright, so that's not perfect. But let's see. If we look at it, 
Since we rounded these down, our answer should be a little bit more than 450, so 471 is looking pretty good. But let's check with our best student here and see what we come up with. So, whoops. whoops, whoops, whoops. We're going to put in the same thing. Okay, so we're going to say 2 times 3.14 times uh, 3 times... 22 plus, so let's put this in parentheses here, so keep them separate. So 2 times 3.14 times r squared, well 3 squared is 9, so I'm going to put 9. Close parentheses, equals, oh, look at that, 471 exactly. Okay, so that's why it didn't give us decimals. But we can see our answer was close, it's the only one reasonable here and since there was nothing else besides 471 I wouldn't really expect you to have to do anything more than this right here okay but if you did this with 3.4 I'm very proud of you okay uh, that's it let's say extra credit for people who post comments saying their favorite flavor of Pringles yeah let's do that that'll be fun alright good night